Hello, I'm Yut, the founders of Dolphin School of English. In Kretschek province, you can see some students who drop out the school. The reason is poverty. Dolphin School we provide free English lessons to underprivileged children. provide English lesson according to level of the children. That's why we have a wide range of classes in three different schools. Dando clases de inglés aquí, pero lo he intentado hacer de una forma un poco como lo hago yo en España, porque aquí no está muy acostumbrada a esa forma. Entonces, yo como lo hago en España, siempre intentar enseñar inglés por la música, por juegos y por cosas activas. Try to educate in traditional way, like reading and copying, but we want to have funny classes. While the children are learning, with educational game and lot of smiles. Llegué el primer día y los niños se levantan, te dicen hola, bueno en inglés claro, te dicen hola, qué tal, estás, que tienen muchísimo respeto. Si uno llega tarde, te, casi se arrodilla, plan, tienen muchísimo respeto, eso es lo primero. Y luego lo segundo me ha llamado mucho la atención el método de enseñanza. Solo repiten, repiten y copian. Y eso ya, en, por lo menos en Europa, no se enseña así. Entonces es muy, como muy, muy antiguo. Repetir y copiar. Y a veces pienso, parecen robots. Da mucha penita. Volunteers are very important for me. This idea came with a little research on internet and easily I could find a lot of platform who provide this kind of work and people who want to have. Now we are trying to get long term volunteer. Uh, my main motivation to volunteer is um, to experience uh, more local and rural life in the in the country instead of just seeing touristic places. Cuando acababa mi viaje me apetecía hacer algo, no sé, ayudar un poquito y por eso me vine aquí para ayudar y luego también para aprender un poquito porque no solo en un, vol en un voluntariado no solo das tú, recibes un montón. responsible for their life or not their life but their English lessons and their education and therefore then I can also when it, when I feel like it hasn't been a good class I feel very sad. Computer skill is very important in nowadays and very good to the future of the children. We have a very simple little room built to the children to use laptop, normally borrowed from the volunteer. This way we found to develop basic computer skill. The reaction of the parents is very grateful. They really like this project and they agree with me when I say that uh, English, is, English school is very important uh, for future children. Actually, we 
We want the school not only for the children. We think that it's very important to adapt to English, to develop their professional skills, or maybe they want to immigrate to the other country. I am helping uh, Chita with her English, helping her uh, practice of pronouncing and uh, communication skills for her interview to get accepted into uh, school in Singapore. To develop my English uh, for my speaking, I can speak to uh, a lot of people in here and I can practice the pronunciation. We have so many countries close together that don't speak languages close enough to each other, so they're they have all these people around them, all these resources, but without communicating to each other, they're very limited on working with one another. And having people from elsewhere come and help them, and they're very limited to stay in their own country for work. They may have the opportunity to get decent training for a certain job, but if they don't really think there's enough work for it in their country, they can't leave. But English is growing and growing as a second language. So for people who did not grow up speaking English, they're learning it to speak to other people who do not speak English. This school depends on funding donation and volunteer coming for all over the world for teachings. Otherwise, it was impossible to keep going. Je travaille à l'office, donc au bureau de Kevdoc, en tant que fundraising officer. Donc le but est donc de, de, de récolter des fonds pour développer les projets que mène Kevdoc. Le but étant donc de répondre à des, des, offres, euh, des offres que proposent les, des, des grands bailleurs de fonds. Donc ces bailleurs de fonds, ce sont souvent donc des, des fonds monétaires qui proposent des subventions. Euh, donc il y a des, des petites associations, des ONG donc, euh, à travers le monde. Donc ici au Cambodge, il y a un certain nombre d'ONG. Et donc on répond à ces, à ces, à ces propositions euh, donc sur Internet. En, en répondant, en général, c'est par mail. Pour être franc, le travail n'est pas vraiment pas, pas évident puisque, euh, en fait, il y a donc aujourd'hui, à ce jour, beaucoup beaucoup de d'ONG qui, qui existent au Cambodge. Et en fait, donc toutes ces ONG sont un peu euh, chacune en concurrence les unes contre les autres. I'm glad we have help from many people, but we need more much more to improve the condition of the school. That's why fundraising is so important. Je suis très content de, de pouvoir être volontaire ici à Cratier. C'est une expérience que j'avais jamais faite auparavant, donc c'est super enrichissant et euh, pour moi je pense que c'est une vraie expérience. C'est bonito parce que tu as tout le temps pour m'aider. Pero no es solo eso. También a veces pienso que es un poco egoísta porque en el fondo recibes un montón de cosas también. Entonces no sé si, yo, si doy más de lo que recibo. Y en este caso más trabajando con niños. Porque los niños, como todos sabemos, dan muchísimas cosas. of children in the street of crutches just walking around with no school and no futures. This school is for that kid. I believe their future and I believe they can have a good job, a good life when they grow up.
Thank mm-hmm. you.